Hello friends, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you IELTS cue card which is describe an article on health that you read from a magazine or newspaper online. You should say what was the article, when and where you read it, what you learned from the article and explain why you think it is a good or bad article. So a relevant answer that you can say is well, it's an interesting topic and, I, and therefore I strongly affirm that the habit of reading is one of the best qualities that a person can possess. It's not very useful in updating knowledge about different topics but also elevates stress. That being the reason I try to read various articles from magazines, newspapers and other possible sources. A couple of days ago I came across an article that was on health issues and it was published in a newspaper, magazine or internet. That was really eye-opening article. It included the reasons why nowadays everyone is suffering from distinct health hazards regardless of age. Gone are the days when the noise of children playing outside of their home was a common thing. In the Biotone era, kids used to eagerly wait for the evening so that they can play outdoor games with their friends, whereas elders loved spending time in the parks to inhale fresh air while walking. Now technology has replaced everything as most of the populace, everyone, can be seen busy on mobile phones. Moreover, mankind has adapted a sedentary lifestyle because of over-dependence on fast-track technology. They don't involve in physical movements, not even going to stones throw away places. Uh, individuals use their private vehicles. In addition to this, some have become couch potatoes and prefer to sit for hours. Such lifestyle has negatively impacted the human's health. On account of this, even children have become prey of severe diseases. The article even included that today's youngsters do not have that level of energy which the grey-haired people of primitive years had. Consumption of fast food has also skyrocketed which has a detrimental impact on health. That day I realized how worse my lifestyle is. Luckily the article also included ways to remain hale and hearty. Now the follow-up questions can be, why do different people like to read different magazines? Well, it depends on individuals' interest and liking towards varied topics. Magazines cater to specific fields. Those who love sports read sports magazines such as Sports Today, Zig Wheels. Those who like fashion read fashion magazines such as Vogue. Those interested in film celebrities read magazines like Stardust and Film Fair. The next question is what kind of magazines do teenagers like to read? So you can say mostly teenagers like to read sports, technology and fashion magazines as today's youth is tech savvy and thus wants to keep themselves updated with the latest version and fashion. The next question is what's the difference between news on TV and news in magazines? So you can say the major difference is that news in magazines is the detailed news of the past week or the past fortnight and even in the past month depending on whether the magazine is weekly or fortnightly or monthly. On the other hand, news on TV focuses on present and is usually on a fast track basis. Next question, do people like to read news from the internet? So you can say these days everyone has a busy schedule and are tech savvy, therefore they prefer capturing information on internet while traveling or in free time. They want to quickly grab the recent updates from any corner of the world. For that matter, even e-paper is also environmentally friendly. Next question, do people still buy magazines in your country? You can say yes, they do. Magazine caters to specific and special fields. For instance, those interested in sports buy sports magazines, whereas those interested in homemaking buy magazines like Women's Era and professionals prefer to read India Today and Cosmopolitan, etc. All right, so the next cue card that I'm going to share today is describe an experience you had as a member of a team. The questions related to that will be where it was, who were the members of the team, 
what you did together in this team and explain why you became a member of this team or explain what the purpose of the team was. So as you know, friends, you get one and a half minutes to prepare for the answer and then you get two minutes to talk on the topic. So I'm going to share with you um, a good answer that can help you to gain expertise and can help you to answer this question well. So the answer that you can give on this is, I would like to talk about a team project which I participated recently during my work as a communication trainer and an auditor with a reputed multinational company. The project's main task was to initiate refresher trainings for the current employees and orientation programs for the new ones. We were a team of nine members and our mission was to ensure that we nail it as per the scheduled time. Being a principal trainer and a group leader of my team, it was an uphill task for me to segregate trainers and allocate their respective trainings. Therefore, I made batches of minimum 25 people per trainer and assigned each group with its own duties and responsibilities. All the trainers were informed to complete the set of training within a stipulated span of time. We prepared separate modules that comprised of audio-visual aids and speaking sessions. I believe this project was not only such an amazing experience for all the team members, but also it was very beneficial to the company as from this point we were able to skyrocket our customer satisfaction scores to almost 90% and the overall rating elevated too. From the company's perspective, we were also able to deliver quality training. At the end of the project, we were recognized as the best team of the year and were prized with a trophy and bonus where all the team members were elated and proud of their excellent job. So, well, this was the answer, which actually I, it's my personal experience, but I'm going to also share another example, another answer to it. So then the second best answer can be well, according to my perception, the team plays a vital role in achieving tasks at both personal and professional levels. I strongly believe in the proverb that says, together everyone achieves more. I have experienced being part of the numerous amazing teams since childhood. Moreover, I must admit that all my experiences were fabulous. However, today I would like to talk about a situation when I collaborated with a team during my college term which changed my life immensely. It was about a couple of months ago when I was in the last semester of my management studies. Although I was doing great academically, one thing that haunted me was public speaking. I mean to say I had a phobia of public speaking and I used to fumble a lot. Out of the blue, one day my professor called me along with another four students from other streams and informed us that we were nominated by him to do a team presentation on interpersonal skills at the college level. I felt as if I was on cloud nine to get that golden opportunity as getting selected out of 120 students, which is not a piece of cake. Yet the other moment I started to have blues, thinking of how I'm going to work in a group of strange people. I believe everyone had the same opinion that it was hard not to crack until we met and started to work together. Since I had an excellent presentation skills, I worked on preparing slides with the help of another student. The others were skilled at orating and follow-up skills, so we collaborated amazingly to utilize everyone's strengths. Furthermore, we brainstormed all the possible ways to deal with each other's weaknesses. All my team members helped me to overcome the fear of public speaking by boosting my morale. Unexpectedly, everything went smoothly that way and that day as well. Although I was nervous, that day I realized if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. I was thrilled to bits when our professor appreciated for our teamwork cooperation along with exceptional team bonding. Moreover, my stage fright was gone since then, which was the most significant achievement for me. 
All right, so the questions can be, do you like teamwork? Why or why not? So the answer can be, yes, I do. I think it's more interesting when various people work together in a team. You can learn a lot more because different people have different knowledge and also experience, especially when the people come from varying countries and cultures across the world. We get to learn a lot and meeting with them become very interesting as they think in a different way way. The next question is how does teamwork help? So you can say well as I said it can lead to more creativity and sharing of ideas which may not happen otherwise. Moreover problems seem to get solved easier when they are discussed in a team possibly because there are various ways of approaching problem solving and sometimes having a different perspective that of another person is enough to see the issue in a challenging way and eventually come up with a solution. Now the next question can be, do you think children should develop skills for teamwork? So you can say, Yes, I think this is why many parents spend a lot of time telling their children that it is important to share things with others. Working in a team requires some skills which you have to learn, but they can be learned early in life as a child. So I think it's a good idea that children are taught to work in teams to solve problems. They should also be encouraged to develop their problem-solving skills so that they can work on their own, yet teamwork is important in adult life. So yes, they should be taught how to do it. The next good question can be, does have, uh, having leadership skills qualify a person to be a team leader? So you can say, leadership skills alone will not be of great help as working in a team is not really about a group of people following a leader. It is more about the individual team members working together equally to solve problems or create whatever it is they are working on. Eventually, teamwork requires a lot of different skills and just because someone has good leadership skills does not mean they will automatically work well in a team. Therefore, if they try to dominate the rest of the team members, then there will be likely be hassles within the team and it will become ineffective. The next question is, would you like to work alone or work with a partner? You can say, I enjoy working independently since I kind of hate being dependent upon other people. However, it also depends upon the team members. If I have fantastic rapport with all the group members, I find it quite enjoyable. The next question is, what are the benefits of studying alone? The largest benefit of studying alone definitely is that we can concentrate better. Another advantage is the flexibility, which means that we can study whenever or where we need and we could study at our speed. Next question, what can children learn through teamwork? The most important benefit I feel is children learn how to cooperate and work alongside others. This is really valuable in adult life when people have to work together on projects. Next question is, what are the disadvantages of working in a group? I think, firstly, functioning in a group can be really inefficient because we must work at common set speed. Secondly, it occasionally leads to sense of jealousy in the event other members aren't very sincere in their work and we are dependent upon them to finish their job. Next question, is it great to have differences within the group? Somewhat yes, because tough differences make sure more time is spent deliberating on issues so there are less odds of mistakes. No, because having differences means it slows things down. Next question is, what are key skills and abilities necessary to be prosperous in a team? So you can say, I think that the major skill required to achieve success is the ability to work well with others. People should be accommodating, but also not be accommodating, so they shed their voice. What I mean is they should be open to ideas of others, but also express their own thoughts and reservations. So thank you so much friends for watching this video and keep watching more IELTS cue cards videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.